All right, hello everybody. Welcome back to the Luca stream. Um, I just woke up. I'm a bit sleepy. Um, uh, my sleep schedule is all kinds of fucked up. Hey, before we get started, I need to warn you guys. This game is fucking dark. Uh, big content warnings for child sexual abuse, substance abuse, uh, suicide, and like some mild transphobia. There's also just generally like parental abuse and body horror. So, you know, if you're not super chill with any of those things, uh, it is totally fine if you need to like skip on this stream. Also, I'm just gonna put that on the screen. Uh, hold on, give me a sec. I can't even see chat right now because it is paused due to scroll. All right, uh, Let's do it. <laughs> yeah, the title screen is a huge tone setter. <laughs> you little thief. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Leave him alone. Shut up, Brad. He stole our ball. I stole it. Rick didn't do anything. What? You little bitch. So, okay. This game has some themes in it. Uh, some big ones are toxic masculinity and the cycle of family abuse. So, there's gonna be, there's gonna be some language <laughs> and, uh, some maybe not cool stuff in this game. Idiots. Let's go, guys. Masculinity do be toxic. Oh, I should probably... Thanks, Brad. Oh, we're playing. I'm sorry. You didn't have to cover for me. Sorry, Brad. Sorry, you got beat up. Yeah, shit sucks, bro. It sucks. Hey. Well, that's a weird reaction to seeing a child beat the shit. God, my overlay is fucked up right now. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff in this game that is worth crying over. Okay, hey, this is not great. Once again, my son steps into my house. Beat to shit. Hmm. I'm not buying you another shirt. Worthless shit, kid. Go to your room. Now. Um. We definitely want to look at this. So this is. This is Lisa. Oh.
You took some joy. So, I will be doing a, uh, a joyless run. Um, that means something to some people. That means a lot to me, because that's kind of hard sometimes. What the hell? Uh, it's okay, little buddy. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. There we go. Good baby. Come on, little buddy. I also did Joyless in my first playthrough. Like, Joyless full self-sacrifice playthrough. It gets rough. Let's get you somewhere safe. This is the game. Carry this baby around for the entire game. Hey guys. How's it going? Hey, they're all the... It's really f fun seeing these dudes as children. And then immediately getting to see them as middle-aged men. Very fun. Brad? What is that? Holy shit! Is that a baby? Yeah. Wow. A baby? Where did you get that? I don't know. I just found it lying on the ground. Jeez. Dudes, wait! You know what this means? This means there's a girl out there! Whoa. That means there's hope for humanity! Whoa! I bet she's super hot. Totally. Guys, this is serious. Is it a boy or a girl? I didn't check. It's a girl. Wow. We need to tell someone. Rando! If we came to him with this, we'd be set for life! All the food and cool stuff we want! Dope, dude. That's actually not a bad idea. The Rando army would be better equipped for something like this. No. No one can know I have her. She's a baby now, but she'll be a woman in no time. She wouldn't stand a chance out there. Brad, that's insane. You'll keep her a secret your whole life? Do you know what would happen if anyone found out? I don't care. I'm keeping her. Brad. I don't care if you guys help me or not. I'm not going to give her up. This is my second chance. Jeez, Brad. Don't worry, little buddy. I won't let anyone hurt you. Rick's kind of given the side eye. Don't like that. Yeah, it, this game doesn't even explain, uh, how the world is. You can kind of infer, so, hey, this world, this game takes place in a world where all the women died. Uh, aside from, clearly, one, two, a few. If that, uh, 
Yeah, Val, this game is weird. It's very good, though. This game is very divisive because you either kind of fall into the camp of thinking that this game is brilliant or that this game is dog shit. I am unsurprisingly in my own camp in the middle where I think it has a lot of important stuff to say but at times doesn't really know how to say it. Yeah, Radical Centrist, Luca at 12. That's, that's me. <laughs> totally, totally centrist. Um, so this game deals with a lot of heavy stuff. And it gets so heavy-handed in making its points that it veers into edgy territory sometimes. Which isn't great. It's kind of bad. Um, yeah. <laughs> this is a nice opening cutscene, though. Hold on. Actually, I think I can crop my overlay. Hold on. Oh, did that pause the game? Oh, hold on. I could literally just crop the overlay a bit in OBS. I just remembered. Oh. So yeah, substance abuse is also a big um, thing here. Brad's dad was a raging alcoholic and Brad is addicted to a drug called Joy. Hey! You there! This wild beast won't leave me alone! I'd slay him myself, but I pulled my groin climbing this tree! So give me a hand, will ya? It's Terry! You like Terry? Hold on, I am going to do... Hold on, I'm just going to do a little work on... Visuals of the stream. We're going to go... Oh, that is doing all sorts of wild things. Let's do this. What are you doing? Why does it do that? Hold on. Where this is OBS is janky. I just gotta hold up. Let's get those. Lucas, yeah, they've escaped. Okay, that looks good. That looks good. Yeah, that looks fine. All right, let's do the thing. Hey, by the way, this this track's gonna sound a bit familiar to some people who watch Wayne Radio TV, because he used this as his theme song on YouTube. Music in this game, you guys have been listening to a lot of it uh, during like stream breaks and in pre-streams. Fucking great music. Now we gotta beat up a dog. Bad, uh, do you have any like special moves? You don't. No, I'm punching the dog. Punching and kicking the dog. It is very earthbound. The visual style of the battles is incredibly earthbound. You're pretty tough for a whacked out midlife crisis looking bald guy. You seem like you can handle a lot of pain. Like maybe you can handle some kind of pain related difficulty setting, huh? Am I correct? No. Huh, that sucks. Anyway, I would have helped, but I, like I said, I hurt my H string. 
I'm Terry Hints. People call me the Lord of the Tutorial. I've been traveling the land, sleeping my hints for all to see. I'm a pretty big deal. Got a lot of fans. All right. Wait. I don't know what this voice that I'm doing for Terry is, but I'm having fun. You seem pretty lonely. Since I'm a nice guy, I'll keep you company. Cool, it's settled. Cool. We got our first party member. If this balloon wasn't here, you would walk off this cliff and die. This balloon just saved your life. I need these. It does fit his character, yeah. Bottles. Bottles can be very helpful. You can sell them, fill them, or make fire bombs with them. Or even just throw them in battle. So pick them up. Wait, hold on. So this has my saves from back when I originally played this game. But it doesn't ha have any of the achievements unlocked? That's weird. That is an old save, by the way. That is very, very old. <laughs> Harry's fun. Harry's a fun character. You're vulnerable when you sleep. Anything can happen. Nothing happened. Music is happening. Terry is best boy, yeah. I love Terry a lot. Ah, fuck. Hey, bro. Secret's out, Brad. He's gone. Sorry, guy. There is something I gotta to go do. Alone. What happened? I can't really tell you. Come on, bro. This looks serious. Someone close to me is missing. I need to find that person. That's really all I can say. Oh, shoot. That's sad, dude. I figure you'll need someone to protect you. I don't. I'll tag along, I guess. Considering I'm a very strong warrior. Terry's a good boy. Ah, fuck. I found a rusty knife. Hello, crow. Yeah, those are end game. Those are end game saves. Why are those there? Those are also on a completely different Steam account. Oh, this was a dumb idea. Why did I do this? Oh no. Hey. Solving something. Diet Coca-Cola Cola. Hell yeah. Uh, is there anything up here? Terry gets the most fan art? I guess that makes sense. I mean, he is the first character that you meet, and he is, like, very likable. Which is funny, because ding -a -ling apparently specifically designed Terry to be as, like, obnoxious with tutorials as possible. So people wouldn't like him. And he'd be an easy sacrifice in moments where you have to sacrifice, uh, a character. And it completely backfired. Which I love.
Where are we, Terry? Look at the description for the for the soda. If you throw this at someone, it won't hurt. It's a soft drink. Oh, I hate that. Hey. Out of my way. I want the little bitch all to myself. What an asshole. Uh. So we're gonna see how strong a warrior Terry is. Yep. Super powerful warrior. Very proud of him. I love that his attack is literally just like tripping and accidentally hitting the enemy. It's very good. He's, yeah, he's just having an off day. Fine. Our little shear is actually fucking useless. Everybody has their off days. God, how much fucking health do you have, bro? Oh, Terry's crying now. It's okay, Terry. You can cry. They saw salmon swimming downstream tonight. Get wrecked. Terry is now level two. Hey, bro. He's dead. Could have figured, yeah. Uh, well, we'll be fine. Oh, hi. Can't believe it. Such an ugly girl. That stopped bleeding. Cool. I love when I stop bleeding. Hey! I'm not dead yet, you prick. Come here so I can kick your ass. Uh... Hey, let's... Be mildly responsible. That's right, tough guy. You fell right into my trap. Oh. Hey, bro. Bump. Ah, god damn it. Good job, dude. A plus. A plus for effort. He tried. He put forth an effort. Uh... Item. Ah. Hello. Alright, man. I'm gonna stay here and block the entrance. You guys go search around in case she's already been through here. Got it, boss. Sugar Boy Drifters. That's such a good gang name. Perfume. Radical. Did I see a man up here? I did. Hey, bro. How's it going? Is this a joke, bald man? Think you can handle what's going on out there? <laughs> I'll give you a taste. Oh. Sugar Mountain! Oh, I pissed him off. Oh my god, Terry did damage. He just hit himself. Oh my god.
Get... Mm. Terry didn't get any of that experience. <laughs> Terry got one-shotted by a pissed-off enemy. Holla holla, if you hear me. Really needed to get that off my chest. He's dead. Oh, this game's so dumb. Oh, wait, there's a camp right here. No, there's not. Okay, good. Hey, bro. That looks rough. Oh. Uh... Oh, yeah. Time is a great teacher. Sadly, it kills all its pupils. Howdy, motherfucker. Our paths have crossed yet again. Do you remember our time spent as we lads? I do. Fondly. My heart just tumbles with joy thinking about it. Like your head in a, in a dryer. Normally you'd be dead and stripped of your wares by now. Yes, that's a deer. Yeah. But I like you, Brad. Let's have some fun. I shall give you a choice. Your yellow-shirted friend's life. Or all of your belongings. Choose wisely. What will you give us? Not even a choice. That's not even a choice. Hmm. How boring. All right, boys, strip him quickly. I hear a tale that a female is on the loose. My loins ache for some excitement. Off we go. I hate this guy. This guy sucks. Hey, Terry. Ugh. My head. Whoa, you look like hell! Are you okay, dude? What happened? Um, we got hit by a truck. It was some old friends. Everything's okay now. Damn! First my hamstring, now this! You're a bad omen! Yeah, I guess so. Well, it's all good, man. I don't mind. I like hanging out with you. The music there is so fun. Alright. Yep. Look at that, his pee pee out. Too hot for Twitch. Ah, oh, dang, look at his, look at his dangus. Claire moment? What does that mean? What does that mean in this context, Claire? What are you talking about? Pee pee. I guess that, is that a Claire moment? Oh, this was a mistake, wasn't it? This was possibly a mistake. Yep. He's knocked out cold. I'll take some- Alright, I gave up all my items. We got no empty bottles. What the fuck was that? Holy heck! I don't know what that was. That doesn't seem good. Uh... 
Yeah, a bottle. Ow. Oh! Hi. Tommy, don't play with matches. How did you even get those, sport? Give them to... Oh, shit. What do you want? I'm looking for a child. This is my orphanage. All these kids have been abandoned. I'm taking care of them because no one else will. Why are you... Uh-oh, Tommy. <laughs> now look what you did. It's okay, sport. We'll get that put out. Hey, could you hand me that bucket of water? You fool! Not that bucket! That was my gasoline bucket! Oh. Alright. I'm going, I'm going. You were too late. This is the second most tragic thing to happen in my life. Uh... Is that it? So, there's like no benefit to that entire scene. <laughs> Not like that, there's, that just happens. By the way, I will note... Something else I just remembered is that this game is made in RPG Maker. And apparently it is very difficult to make a side-scrolling game in RPG Maker. So what you're looking at in this world, you're effectively looking at a top-down view that is, like, rigged very janky to be, like, a side-scroller. Uh-oh. That wasn't good. Fucking, like, ding a -ling did weird, weird magic to make this work. I found a cigarette. Um... Am I a strong man? I am definitely not a strong man. That's a snake. <laughs> oh! That snake kicked our asses. Why did I not save? Well, now we have to go through some, some of the scene again. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't want to mash too hard because the option is automatically on giving up Terry. Howdy, motherfucker. Such a good line. Dingling is also like an actual martial artist. And has martial art videos on YouTube. Should we? Should we go? Like, nah. We shouldn't bother with the with the with the child thing and the fire. Oh, this again. You actually can't do anything. Oh. Never mind. I was about to say that you literally can't do anything about that, but that's apparently not true. 
Hey. It happened immediately! Again! Does it always happen the first time you use this tent? I thought it had a chance of happening, not... It definitely happens every time. Alright, let's... Save. Let's not go do the child thing again. Oh yeah. Leave. Take your pervert war somewhere else. I want no part in this. Alright. Full of holes. Hey, bro. What's up, Macho Man? Bobby Diddle? Oh, I don't like this guy. Intestines are in disarray. <laughs> Poor dude. I'm sorry that your intestines are in disarray. That that blows, bro. Oh yeah, there was a bottle there though. We do want that bottle. I can leave the children alive, though. That's a thing that I can do. Hey, guys. What's wrong? Getting sentimental, brother? Uh, no. Just asking. Uh-oh. Here it comes. Close my eyes. Good night, Olaf. Uh, bye. Lucas gave his final breath. Uh, not sure what that was about. Anyway, a whole mob of guys ran through here going on about a girl. A balding guy in pink and a phallic headed man in green cut the bridge out. They looked really scared, neither of them fit for battle. Everyone got pissed and started to leave. Then all of a sudden, these three dudes with amazing hair found the girl. Apparently, she was in that truck. Pretty crazy, huh? They invited everyone back to their clubhouse in the old factory. I didn't go. That chick looked ugly. Hmm. It's locked. So he said dude in pink, guy in green, huh? Oh, can we get a party member here? I think we can. God, this is this is really good actually. Hey. Oh, hello there. My name is Nern. I'm considered the greatest historian of our time. I've gathered a wealth of knowledge about Olaf and what happened. Many tales. Would you like to hear? Yes, I totally care. Hmm. I wish you were more enthusiastic. Oh, well, I'll tell you anyway. Let's see. Oh, right. It all started with what I like to call the Flash. I was sitting up with my wife, God rest her soul, sipping on sweet lemon tea. I believe it was homemade by my sweet wife, God rest her soul. Or wait, maybe she bought it from the store in a bottle. 
You know, like a plastic bottle? Well, hold on now, that would be ridiculous to buy a bottle of sweet lemon tea, then transfer the contents into a glass. Why not just drink it from the bottle? I guess maybe so she could put ice in the glass? But then again, making tea homemade would be just as time consuming if not more. That sneaky bitch. Anyway, I'll save that story for later. So, I'm sitting on my porch drinking sweet lemon tea. From a glass, of course, ho ho! When suddenly, a, a great strangeness fills my body. Something was wrong. I've lived many years and I've never felt anything like this before. Do you know what it was? Yup. It was my rocking chair. That wooden son of a gun stopped rocking. So I looked down and realized a little rock had gotten caught beneath my chair. A rock under my rocking chair. What a day! I decided it was time for bed. I had had a little bit too much excitement for one day. Ho ho! I slid into my jammies, brushed my teeth, and said my prayers. As I was climbing into bed, I noticed my wife, God rest her soul, brushing her hair in the bathroom. As I peered across the hall, my body swelled up with emotion. Why can't I be married to an attractive woman? Is it me? My bank account? I'm a tall guy. I work out 40, out 40 minutes a week. Is that not enough? Now my neighbor at the time, Tom Forknight, my neighbor at the time, Tom Forknight, was very short. His wife, Karen Forknight Plateburger, yeah, one of those women. Well, she was more attractive than my wife. I'd say she was a soft six, whereas my wife was a hard four. What's the deal? I thought women liked tall men. Why was Karen with him? Tom Fortnight. Anyway, my horse of a wife, God rest her soul, crawled into bed next to me. She decided to leave the bedside light on so she could read her book. It was one of her romance no novels again. Give me a break. As if I don't already feel inadequate enough. Not only do I have to compete with Tom, now I have to deal with these fictional hunks. Ay yay yay. At this point, I had already suppressed the urges of intimacy. I rolled over and tried to sleep. Her bedside light was only of minor annoyance. I was able to drift off. Then I woke up to a big flash of light. That's about it. Hmm. I can tell by the way you're walking away that you don't want to leave. If you really want to hear another story, I'll tell you. Once upon a hot summer night, sometime in July. Was it July? My local grocery store sells really good eggs in July. I don't know why. Do chickens operate better in heat? Fireworks, maybe? I don't know. I don't want to get off topic. My point is, the eggs that summer were marvelous. Anyway, my wife and I, God rest her soul, went to a BBQ that night. It was held at Dale Spooner's house. Well, his backyard. Connie Spooner doesn't want people in her home. I think she's just an uptight bitch. So at this BBQ, I see none other than, that's right, Tom Forknight. Now earlier in the day, my wife, God rest her soul, had made potato salad for the BBQ. Personally, I hate potato salad. I'm a mashed kind of fellow, ho ho. So I sat in the TV room avoiding her till the BBQ. Once we were at the party, I made sure to distance myself from my dumb potato bitch wife. God rest her soul, I just didn't want anyone to think I would associate with someone that would bring a potato salad. Anyway, Tom and his above mediocre wife were already there. And get this, they brought a fruit salad with whipped cream. The nerve of those fork nights. Needless to say, I gave my wife, God rest her soul, a couple choice words about whipped cream versus potato salad. Son of a bitch. A real tongue lashing. All right. So Nern's a misogynist. We're just going to leave. Hi. Well, hello again. Funny seeing you here. What, are you following me or something? Ho ho. Anyway, I often wonder what all happened here. What was that big flash? Why are we here? Even our night and day cycle is odd. 
Sometimes days last ages and nights come rarely. And these clouds, so strange. What's happened to our Earth? Oh well, enough of that boring stuff. I once had a really kooky day at the doctor's office. I was in the waiting room reading a teen magazine. Normally I don't indulge in adolescent publications, but I couldn't resist. I had recently heard the new artist on the radio, Ulysses Utensils. She's some young woman, maybe a boy, I don't know. Either way, that child can really grasp my attention. Okay. So I'm reading this magazine because I saw Ulysses on the cover. I still wasn't able to identify if it was a man or a woman. But as I'm reading, I notice something on the ceiling. I looked up to see that there is some water damage. You'd think a doctor would make money and would make enough money to maintain his office. I guess he cares about his cool jet skis more than his patient's comfort. And his assumably big house and hard-bodied wife. I wish my wife was like that. Big ol' melons. Just then, a droplet of water falls from the ceiling. My eyes trail it all the way to the ground. I stared at the floor for some time, watching the carpet absorb the water. Suddenly, my attention is caught by a small child. The child was glaring directly at me. I saw the devil looking right back at me between, beneath his eyes. I got nervous and quickly stared directly at my feet as, not, as to not uh, aggravate the child. And that's when I noticed something. I was wearing two different kinds of socks. Golly, I'm all riled up after these thrilling exchanges. To be fair, you're a bit of a bore, but beggars can't be choosers. I think I'll stick around. I've got many a tale to tell. Alright, we got an urn. What a cool, not at all misogynistic guy. We love Nern. Smooth Jesse. I agree. Hey, bottles. I want those. Oh, a bar. Yo, this place is a dive. Um, 70 mags. You only have four. We need, okay. We need 20 mags to get, uh, Olin. Let's find some money. If you just... You deal with it. Time for you to sleep. Oh, yeah, you had a fucked up sleep last night, didn't you? Did I miss an item? I don't think I did. The item next to the guy that said Sweet Jesse is currently inaccessible until... Ow. A bit later. He is impassable. Oh. Mother Poncho. Brad wears a poncho. Yeah, the green haired guy is impassable. You can't you can't get by him until a bit later. People think this girl is some kind of godsend. That ain't so, it's gonna tear us all apart. Sure, bro. Listen to your brother. I got a stack of magazines with your name on it. I just need you to give me a refreshing bottle of liquor. Um, okay. It's Hulk Hogan. 
Ooh. I'll do a thing. Huh. Uh, no. Hello, old chum. Want to invest in my wonderful product? It's really worth your time. Uh, no. I'd rather not, thanks. I don't want your product. Huh. That sucks, bro. That is, that is a... That is a sucky thing for you to say. You took all my soup. Yeah, I did. Fucking deal with it. What a rush! That was great! Take this! Bottle of perfume. What the hell, dude? That hurt. Walk away, jerk. Very good. Um... God, that's so expensive. We need we need more money, like immediately. We have like five. We have five mags. Hey, a crow. Very fun video game. All right, let's carry on. Hey, bro. There's an abandoned building just down the way here. Our friends and I are playing some cards in there. I just stepped out for some air, but you should join us. I... Will, I guess. Hey, that looks suspicious. Well, hi! Oh. Alright. No thanks, I am very poor right now. I got the joy, George. Yeah, okay, yeah. How about you? Oh, it's you. Your heart seems unhappy. Let's cheer it up. Remember to take care of yourself. I'll check up on you soon. Hmm. 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 Hey, bro. Welcome. To Bill Muhammad's Iron Tiger Karate Center. Would you like to learn my Iron Tiger technique? It won't be easy. Sure. First, a test. See that cliff over there? You must fall off of it until I think you've proven your worth. Let's see if just once works. Oh. Nope.
How about now? Wow, really? All right, I can do that 22 more times or 23, I guess. By the way, Val, I figured out how to get that armor in uh, the first room. There is a bookcase in the uh, in that room that you can break, and there's like a hole that you can crawl into. Uh, ten more. It's a decent looking piece of armor. And we kind of, we already got the mask uh, when we were playing. So you might as well get the full thing. Uh, how many more can Terry take? One more. Well done. You've proven your power. Make sure you read it. Increases defense. Okay. Well, Terry's almost dead. Hmm. I cannot wait until we get the bike. Oh. Hmm. We should probably go heal. Oops. I think we are done in this area. Slipper rifle's good. By the way, just so you know, if you um double click right mouse button and hold it, uh you actually get the scope. Oh great. Uh oh. Hello today, Charles. Terry is totally gonna die. Yeah, I didn't know about that. I didn't know about that with the game sniper rifles for a while until like a tooltip in the loading screen told me. It's. It's uh, a little bit weird. Terry's dead. We have one bottle of perfume. EDA. Wait, hold on. Cool. Pick him in the deck.
So, fun mechanic is that Brad cannot really do damage while he's having withdrawals. So, it is sort of left up to the party members to uh, do the thing. Uh, let's... Let's get ourselves, like, a little bit healed. How much health does this guy have? Ow! Oh, he's crying and pissed? I didn't realize that was a thing that could happen. That's probably very not good, actually. Eh, that's fine. Yeah, joyless ones are rough. We don't even have, like, Nern's really good attacks yet, which is... Makes it really tough. How much health do you have? This is a very... Uh... It's a dark game, Charles. Oh my god! He just wrecked Terry! Um... Pick him in the nuts. Fuck. There we go. Did it all for the nookie. Sweet lemon tea. Okay, so we definitely need to go, uh, heal. So let's go do that. Oh, and we can get more soup. I will take some soup. Mine now. Bye. Uh, so this is the one we went in. This is the one we should go in. Uh huh. Oh. You think Brad's pretty? That's so nice of you to say. Hmm. Oh! Withdrawals are gone. I did not watch H Bomber Guy's video about this. Where do I find these games? I don't know. This one just kind of like came across my desk 
a couple years ago. Very good. Wow. Booker Clinton is spry. Oh, okay, cool. He just... Motherfucker. Yeah, play Remnant. Do it. It's good. Shit's good. Good video game. Wow, Claire. Claire, you don't even play Fortnite. Fuck Fortnite. I'm unsinkable like the Titanic. Yeah. Titanic, that ship that was famously... That like that famously never sank ever. Nineteen mags. Okay, we need one more. Then we can get a party member. Uh oh, fuck. All right. Remnant is a very pretty game. Though it does have, like... If I didn't know any better, I would almost think that, that um... That Remnant is Eurojank, but it's made by an American company. Oh, thanks, bro. Okay, we can't do anything here right now. Yeah, it's American Eurojank. We should go rest. Better safe than sorry. Also, we could... We could go get Olin and just like sell like one thing. That's the thing that we could do. Where was the bar? Was it in the one in the door on the left? Let's save. Should we try to get every party member in the game? Can I fight this? Did I fight this? Hey bro. You look like a turnip. WSD for a fireball. It's kind of like a Hadouken movement, which I kind of like. Like, it's a quarter circle. That's very neat.
I like how the music when you find a joy mutant is like there's like no music basically. Oh! That gave us quite a bit of experience. A favorite apocalypse game? I don't think I really. Play post apocalypse games enough to have like a good answer for that. I mean, generally speaking, right now, my favorite one is Remnant. But also, this one's pretty good, too. We have 19. Okay, we have. Okay, we need one more mag. This is not the way to go. I'm not incredibly partial to, like, post apocalypse, if I'm being fully honest. Actually. Yes, Gambit? Is that one's a secret post apocalypse sci fi game? Oh! Uh, well, I guess we're not, we're not gonna be using Joy anyway, right? I can actually get both of those guys. Yeah, Remnant definitely- Remnant is definitely not my favorite story, period, because there isn't much of one. Aside from like, all the, like the actually slightly interesting lore stuff. Seems a lot of people have been doing that recently. Anyone specific? I should go. Hold on. I don't want to pry into your business. But you got another thing coming if you think you can do this on your own. A war is going on. You're gonna need allies. Besides, I owe you a drink. Olin. Alright, Olin's pretty good, I think. Just skip the dialogue? Yeah, that's fair. Remnant is not a, uh, super interesting game. Zombie Apocalypse stuff is played out and kind of boring at this point. Okay, do we have to go this way? Oh, it's dark. Yeah, there's rarely a twist to zombies, which is... Fuck! So I know there's a fight immediately... Apparently, Fireball is not affected by the effects of Joy, so that's- or Joy Withdrawal, so that's good. Does that do good damage? I don't even know. Oh, that does! Oh! We really just, like, instantly won that, huh? Oh... I don't want to do this yet either, actually. That's a bit much for us right now. Where the fuck do I go? Oh, come on! Bro! Lollipop Chainsaw is a very interesting zombie game, yeah. Lollipop Chainsaw is good for a lot of reasons. That's a great game. 
Did that get a PC release? Huh. Does it want me to go this way? I should... No, that snake fucked us up. This was also a... Wait. No, we need a bike. Our current goal is finding a bike. If Lollipop Chainsaw has a PC release, I will gladly play that on stream. Cause that's a good fucking game. Maybe I do need to do the Rando Army thing? I think I do. That's the other- that's the only other place we have to go, so... Oh wait. Bike is near the snakes? I don't think so. That snake- like... Sorry, did you see how much damage that snake was doing to us? Are you sure? Let's- We did- we did just save and made no progress, so let's- Let's hang out in here. For- as long as we can. Alright, snake. What do you got? Like! That's a lot of fucking damage. Uh oh. We are overdue for a lollipop chainsaw comeback. I missed that game. Uh. We got it. We got this. What's with all the blood in the grass? Exactly. Um. Oh. Hi. This is ominous music for a man just laying in the grass. Oh, he was just vibing. He was actually just vibing. Oh, I got potato liquor. We can go give that to Hulk Hogan. We're not, we're not fucking with that. Huh. I do want to kill it, yeah. Fire bombs? Where would I get fire bombs? Wait, no, if when we get fire bombs, we need to use it for something else. Ah, let's give it a shot. You were right, Claire. Oh, Olin? What? Why? Oh no! Olin left us. Oh fuck!
Um. Oh! Holy fuck! Okay. Okay, it's crying. That's good. Oh, I fucked up. Okay. Keep crying. Oh my god. Oh fuck, it's not crying anymore. Okay. Um Oh boy. Um Uh-oh. God, that's so much health. Yeah, I might win it by pure- yeah, by pure RNG alone. So if I take a hit, it's basically over. Okay. Oh fuck, it's over. Wait, hold on. <gasps> Holy shit. That should have been over. That should have been it. I'm absolutely gonna die via snake, yeah. Hold on. Uh fuck. Alright. Um Let's go. I forgot there's a camp right here. Oh fuck. Hate that. Hate 
save that. That sucks. Oh, I still didn't put that guy in a party. Fuck Terry, come on! Get your shit together, bro! Yeah, I have to go to the bar to actually get him in my party, huh? We should not do that just yet. <gasps> Why did I do that? just fucked off. He just left. horse stance do? Wawa. Let's do Wawa. Wawa. Why did I do that? Holy shit! Harry, come on, man. Come on, dude. Let's do. Whoa! That was big fucking damage. <gasps> oh fuck. Oh shit.
Okay. That's interesting. Okay. Why is this man so tough? Run hell, Dale Spooner. Because Terry's weak as shit. I am getting incredibly lucky. Nern with the power of gun. Kept it out for us. He, he, uh, he, he, uh, he clutched it. Firmly grasped it. I don't want L Rage in our party. <laughs> kind of instantly died. Ah, fuck. Let's go get Beastborn. Yep, awful from my experience. That was a... Been rough. Alright. So both Beastborn and Nern are stinky. Um... Alright. How did I get that? Oh. <sighs> How far back can I go? Because is there stuff further back that I can get now? Yep. I think he might just be gone forever. Or he might show up in a bar later, I don't know. But I get the sneaking suspicion he's just he's just outy. This game is mean, Claire. Oh you know what? We should go well, hold on. No, let's Better for Nern. Number gets bigger. Oops. Alright. Yeah, it would be nice if I was allowed to use that bow. Um, how far back can we go? I don't think anything back here needed a bike, right? I don't think so. It's wild that Olin's the one that left too because he was the one that was like... He volunteered himself? And like, he was like, oh you can't do this alone, I'll help because I'm a good guy. And then he fucked off.
You know what? The trumpet man is the one playing the music in the area. Those guys just appear randomly in that area. Oops. <laughs> wow. That really does just like fucking murder that dude, huh? Oh yeah, this is again. Not the way we want to go. Can I grind these guys? They drop money. They drop 10 megs. Uh, was it through there? No, this is where the children are, which we don't need to do. What am I trying to do? I don't know anymore. Not that one. This one. Mine. Fifty. It'd be cool if I could find more magazines than that. literally not true. I can just... It's probably better to just fight them. Because they're not strong. There we go. Nern gets his finger beam. Oh, they only dropped one mag, though. Oh, what the... Oh. Hey, Brad. Rick should be home soon, I guess. Just, uh, do whatever. Okay, thanks, Shelly. That's not Brad's voice. Honey, I'm home! Oh, hi, Brad, you're early. Have you started dinner, hon? No. Oh. Well, I told you we were having company. Uh-huh. It's okay, Rick, I'm not that hungry. No, 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 it's no problem. We'll order takeout. How's that sound, sweetie? Uh-huh. Great. Where's Junior? Who cares? Oh, that's right. He's probably doing his homework. Such a bright young man he is, Brad. I bet he can't wait to meet you. Well, anyway, I better get washed up for din-din. Uh-huh. Boy, that was tasty. I just love those little cheese things. Junior. There's my little guy. Say, Junior, why not join us? Fuck you, old man. Whoa, ho, 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 slugger. Let's watch those swear names. Hold on, champ. 
Did you ask if you could leave? He's a great kid. Richard. Yes, my love? I'm going to watch TV. Okay, honey. Alone? Oh. Yes, dear. Come on, Brad. Let's go have some beers in the backyard. I literally got joy withdrawal in the cutscene. So, I got this new mower the other day. The grass is looking... Ah, never mind. You all right, Rick? I don't know, Brad. I wish my life was more like yours. You don't know that, Rick. I'm pretty stupid, Brad, but I'm not that stupid. My wife hates me, and my son? That's a whole nother story. My job sucks. My whole life's a joke. Well, it's better to have somebody rather than nobody. I guess. I mean, look at you, man. No nagging wife, no kids. You teach martial arts. Your life's awesome. Don't forget about me. Hmm. Ah! Well. <laughs> so I just want to say real quick. This, uh... This game kind of hits you with tonal whiplash a little bit. And by a little bit, I mean a lot. Hi, I'm Mad Doc. I've lost my spike club. Alright, cool. Hey. I like big butts. They never lie. Alright. Sure, bro. Oh. Sure. Mario and Luigi! Hello. Damn, I'm thirsty. Alright. Cool. Whatever, bro. I don't care. Hey, shop. Rain poncho. Sports jersey. Terry definitely needs, like, more armor, right? Diary entries. Huh. Yeah, but it's like... This, day, this game deals with a lot of dark stuff. But then it immediately slaps you with, like... Goofy bullshit. Like, a second after. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. It's just, like... It really hits you with the whiplash. Not a wet stick. A damp, limp stick. Uh... Okay, so... I know we can get Mad Dog in our party. I don't remember how. Hold on. I want to be fully prepared for what's about to happen. Hey, mate. You live here? Tell you what. Give me all your dirty pages and we won't totally destroy your little town. So, magazines? How about it, mate? Fuck right off, mate. Let's see if we can do this. Uh, let's get rid of... Oh, 
Oh, Brad fell over. Um... No, wait. Hold on. Oh my god! <gasps> they just straight killed Brad. Okay, this fight might be a bit much for us right now. Yep. <laughs> uh, don't we need to just like do that? We kind of just need to do that. Oh, we still have so much money. Is this like still with like us having bought the equipment? No. Okay. We had like six mags to our name anyway. Time warp. Alright. Um. Um. That doesn't seem quite right. Hey guys. Oh, come on! All oh, right. We need to kind of just do like a fireball. <gasps> oh my god, Toby Cream. Cheer. This ain't a winning fight. Damn. I didn't fuck with you. I did not fuck with you. You did all the fucking. Oh, now we're f Huh. Um... 
Hi, Claire. I may have got us in an, uh, in an unwinnable state here. Oh, we might be good. Well, I can't beat the Road Scholars. And, uh, even when I tried giving them all my money, they weren't happy with that. Okay, thank God. Oh. God, this game is mean. No, I had six and they said you barely got anything and fucked me up. I think ding -a accounted for the fact that, like, you'd, uh, you'd maybe sell, like, buy a bunch of stuff beforehand. How do I get to that hole? Hey, bro. Hold on. Whoop. Ah. Fuck. No! <laughs> Got a spike club. All right, we got a uh, There's no place to rest over there, huh? All right, uh, let's go back. He's fine. He's okay. Don't worry about it. Oh, fuck off. Really? Claire, why are you reading the Silent Hill 2 novelization? Is that what that snippet you sent me was from? Hi, I'm Mad Dog. That spike club you have belongs to me. May I have it back? Of course. Thanks. <laughs> the achievement for getting Mad Dog in your party is called Nipple Guy. He titty out. Uh, fuck up, Eastborn. Rolling with the Mad Dog now. I will say, Mad Dog did murder his son. Because the person. That was dead down there with a spike club in their face. It was Mad Dog Jr. However, Mad Dog's a big tough boy. We need a big tough boy. Where do you. I know, like. 
Someone in this game gives you like a bunch of firebombs at some point, and I don't know how or why or where. Um, there's a man up here. Oh. That man just kicked me in the balls. Fuck that guy. Um. Oh. Hey, bro. Hey, it's Whittly Two Diddly's house. I missed. Bro, I missed. He's dead inside. Hey. So I would just go straight to the goal, but I know better than that. some jerky where did that bush guy go he just gone forever hey guys you guys hear about that girl Psh, heard she's a real horse tell me you wouldn't go for a piece of that I didn't say that I'm just saying it's a shame she's it's a shame she's ugly. But who's complaining, am I right? I heard that crew in the old factory has her. Get the hell out. Are they hostile? Those guys? They're angels. They're letting people take turns, no charge. That place is packed. You better hurry if you want to go at her. Um Hey, bro. How's it going? How do I do tackle? Um. Oh. Piss. What was tackle? DDW, right. Oh. He's dead. He was weak as hell. Nope. Hey, guys. Oh, God. Fuck everybody here. Fuck everybody here. I hate all of you. Hey, Sticky. I need some painkillers. Well, hello to you, too. Let's go. Hurry up. Dude, what's wrong with you? You're acting funny. Don't worry about it. Brad, what's up? Tell me, dude. Sticky, shut your mouth and give me the drugs. 
Rat, I'm not giving you anything until you tell me what's going on. Nikki, I don't need this shit right now. Just hook me up. No, man, not this time. What the hell? Something's wrong with you. Drugs are not what you need right now. Okay, Sticky. That's fair. Hey, bro. Uh... Wait, there's an item there. Fancy perfume. Neat. Brad will be the fanciest lad. Is there a baby chicken up there? Goldie the hen! Hell yeah! We got a little baby chicken. What? It was this it was just a chicken? Well who fucking cares? God damn it. Hmm. So okay, no, there There are some things that I'm obviously missing. I think there's an entire area that I haven't done. Cause somebody somewhere is supposed to give me fire bombs. So I can use them to fight the boss that's in that warehouse. And I guess while we are going back to do a bit of an explore, we will get another party member. Hmm. That guy. I think he's just staring into the sun, isn't he? Place with the red skulls? Maybe? Bottle of dirty water. I don't think this is it, though. We should save. <sighs> hmm. Oh, wait. Ah, that guy? Is that Goldie? My prize ten. It's my baby. You have to give her back. If you give her back, I'll give you a hundred dirty mags. Yay! Rooster's good, right? we do rooster instead of nern? I don't want to do rooster instead of nern. I guess the obvious choice for characters to get rid of in the party would be Terry, but we're never getting rid of Terry. Can't get rid of Terry, he's our boy. Um, did we go in there before? Woo! 
Just reading trashy horror novels. Claire, that's, that sounds like a very clear thing to do. Nothing there. Okay. Okay, let's... Could get carry a better now. Uh, we should get Rooster some armor. And then worry about getting Terry more damage. Terry doesn't really need damage. He's a he's a support. Yeah, there's nothing here. Hmm, maybe it is in the area with the rando army. And just go by you, huh? Old man. Oh! We have potato liquor, don't we? There we go. sound like James at all. What the fuck? Yeah, like, like... James in the original game is just like a whiny little baby. Who has no idea what the fuck's happening ever. Um, no, we've been up there before. Okay, let's try going, like, all the way back. Oh. Domestic jerky. Are there any items in here that I've missed? Oh. Sick. That was worth it. It wouldn't be a lot run of Lisa without one of those, huh?
Um... Did we ever go into Nern's house? Is there anything in there? No. Sounds like somebody's dad wrote it. Somebody's dad who played Silent Hill and like thought James was like an action hero or something. Or someone's dad who watched the kid play Silent Hill. I wonder if there's anything over here, because we didn't even look. Oh, there's empty bottles here, isn't there? Oh! Not doing that again, I almost did it again. Uh, I guess not. Hmm. So we've gone all this way back. For nothing. Okay, I guess we'll go the rando path. Are you sure that maybe the, um, the bad writing of it isn't due to the fan local, like, the fan localization? Could that be an aspect of why it's so bad? But I guess the fan translation wouldn't really change the content all that much, huh? Yeah, that makes sense. Alright. Time to meet Rando. Hey, Rooster, what do you got? Cock Blast! He has cock blast. <laughs> uh, 
Hi. Yo. Where you going? Get over here. Hey, Porky, leave him alone. Random doesn't want us done shit for no reason. I said get over here now. Uh, no. Yo. I just like not. Hi. Uh oh. Hmm. Mystic Pete! Oh, we gotta kill him immediately. These guys aren't very tough, huh? Oh! Oh, that's not what I wanted. Oh! Bad Dog literally has... Like, Dan Hadoken From, uh, Street Fighter. That's cute. I like that a lot. Later, fuckers. Mad Dog does take it. Mad Dog's a badass. Oh. There's music in here. Why is there music in here? Oh! How many firebombs did I find? Three! Hell yeah. Hmm. Oh, that's a person. How do I get to you? Hello. My name is Treats Needy. I'm a treasure hunter. Rumor has it that this cave has some sick loot hidden in it, but I just can't find it. Oh, I found it. I already found it. Don't worry about it. I got it. Oh. I love this song. Reminds me of my youth. This is the perfect moment. I hope nobody ever comes to and ruins it. Hi. I came and ruined it. I love to ruin things. <laughs> Turn the music off. Fuck it. Fuck it. Who needs it? Uh Who are you? Oh, this one has the good music that I like. Yeah, I figured that would happen. <laughs> Did you think you were sneaky? Because, uh, you're in for a rude awakening. Yep. Yeah. I'm not gonna mess with your corpse, dude. You'll be fine. 
Oh, so these enemies are like to scale with uh what I should have been fighting before. I'll kill him. Cause why not? Does he already have a knife in his head? Um... Where I came out from... Who the fuck is that? Who the fuck are you? Oh! A fight. You're sitting in a chair. Oh, he was, oh, he was napping. Sorry about that. I thought you were a bad guy. One party member who you love. Okay. We'll see, we'll see if we get there today. Do you know how I am an accidental speedrunner? Hi. All right. That it's kind of creepy. That is a really creepy thing to say. You don't know me. I mean, that's true. I don't know you. Hmm. Oh, who's that guy? Schoolboy shufflers? Hi. Mm. Oh. I think I did already. Yeah. Oh. His home planet needs him. All this gasoline is mine. Wait, was, oh, that was the whole thing with this area, huh? That was the whole, that was the whole area. I should have come here way sooner. All gas for me. It is all my treasure. Bye. Okay, let's do a rest. Uh, we gotta go fight the hairy boys. Which should be pretty easy, because I think... Most of the people in our party have fire attacks. So we don't... We probably won't even have to use the fire bombs. Whoops. Ow. Oh, wait.
Oh! I don't know why I thought I could make that. It's a good thing I literally just saved. Wait, hold on. This is back in time. Claire. Listen. No, I can no, you can't get you can't get by him. So you cannot turn this music off. Hi. Oh. All right. Y'all seem like good folks. Yeah, this place really does seem like paradise. Y'all seem so goddamn happy to be here. Hey guys. Oh, hello! You here for the girl? You dirty bird, of course you are. We here at the Magnificent Mains Men's Club are all about the people. We do our best to make your time on this terrible earth as enjoyable as possible. And lucky us, we found that sweet little treat that's been running around. She's such a peach. Well, I'll go ahead and let you go take a whack at her. Let me just... Wait a minute. Your head. Your hair? There is none? You come into our club with no hair? You dandy fuck. You just made the biggest mistake of your life. I'm a dandy fuck. That's me. Hey, Terry. Is this not actually fire? I guess it's not. You know what? Hold on. There we go. No, but, but Brad's fire counts as fire. I don't know why Roosters doesn't. Am I asking for it, guys? That dog is... Mad Dog needs a heal. Uh, Hawk Blast. Maybe chicken fire is different from human fire? Yeah, that's a good point. Oh, I fucked up. Um... Wow, we really did our first try, huh? I'm good at video game. Later, fuckers. Hey.
Please, I don't want to do this. Look at me, I'm not a woman at all. I have a mustache. I'm just a truck driver. My truck is still by the bridge. The one the girl escaped on. In the back of my truck, I have the tools to fix the bridge. Save me, we can repair it together. I'll save you. Barty Hernandez. Barty. Barty. Hey guys, uh, yeah, I mean, I guess you can still continue doing what you're doing, but like, there's no real point to it. Oh? A game? Oh! Interesting. The game crashed. Um... That's very interesting. That is a very interesting that thing that has just happened. Did that save happen? It did. Thank fuck. Why? Widdly too diddly. He's dead. Rest in peace, Widdly. Oops. It feels very strange to suddenly be accosted by the Wayne Radio TV theme song while I'm playing a video game. <laughs> I will remember him more than my mother. He made good tunes. My mother did not. My mother only played the accordion. But I'm not super down for that. Oh, fuck. You know what? Let's go to- oh wait, I can just hit shift, right? Yeah. Um, should we go rest? Yeah, we should. It's on the way anyway. Let's get asleep. I've done everything in these areas, so I think we're good to make progress. Hold up! That's my truck! We got a bunch of supplies in back, we can rebuild that bridge! Yeah, you told me that already, bro. You learn trucks then. Also, you can now use the truck to fast travel back to major checkpoints. Access via key items. Oh. We're about to have a bad day, aren't we? Woo! Good dodge.
Nah, I probably like Mother 3 a lot. I can tolerate frogs. Not a fan, but I can tolerate them. Can you even do damage, dude? Not a whole lot. But the soul still burns. <laughs> All right. Bye. Oh. Hey. What do you think you're doing? Who is she? Why? Why do you love her more than me? Why do you hate me? You're supposed to take care of me. Why, Brad? Well, I wonder if... Is she still in there? Nope. Hey. Yep. What an asshole! Fuck this guy! You know what? You gotta commend him for shooting his shot. Sucks. What? I need to actually play Mother 3, probably. Hmm. Yeah, sure, this totally seems like a safe place to rest. What happened? Hi. The wind blows in my favor, little man. You will not be walking away from this one. Why does everyone want to fight all the time? What did I do? attack? Hmm. Oh, he has AoEs! That was the wrong one, but that's still good damage. Um... Press attack is DDA. Okay. Uh. Uh oh. Thank God for Terry dodging. Uh-oh. 
Uh oh. Oh. Terry continues to live. All right. He could wipe us out in one move if he wanted to, though. Come on, Terry. That dog's dead. Oh my god! And everybody got the experience. I am good at video games. Wow, we are very low on health. Uh, hey, Rooster, have that. Uh, Terry? We should be good. Okay, Percy. Nobody's watching. It's okay. Time to make a movement. Just remember what Dad taught you. Choo-choo! Here comes the train! Chugga-chugga, chugga-chugga. Oh? See, what's that little tickle? What's going on back there? Dear God! Kill it! You saved my life. I owe you everything. All right. Oh, Rick. Thank God you're alive. What's going on? Where's Buddy? Oh, hey. Ow. Rick, what the hell is going on? Rick, stay out of it, Brad. Stay out of it. Where is my daughter? Huh, daughter. She's gone. Doesn't belong to you anymore. What are you talking about? It's gone on too long. We're saving the world, Brad. She's our only hope for repopulation, and you know it. You idiot. You know what will happen to her. What do you suggest we do? Just die off? Where is she? Why are you doing this? We were her family. She trusted us. You can't just take my girl. Jesus, Brad, listen to you. You don't think we have bigger issues going on? There are way more important things going on than your little family. We're sick of it. Just because you have some pent-up guilt doesn't mean you can screw us all. You can't be selfish anymore. You don't know me. Yeah. You're right, Brad. I don't know you. The only thing we know is that you're a washed up druggie. And you're not fit to raise a goddamn kid. Let alone the most important one in the world. You're no father. You're an addict. I stopped doing joy. I'm clean. Don't give me your shit. Tell me where she is right now, Rick.
Yeah, like you can't just solve the population issues with one girl. It does not work like that. It simply doesn't. I don't know what the fuck Rick is thinking, but he's dumb as hell. I don't want to have to hurt you. Do your worst. Is that it? I thought you I thought you knew karate tough guy. Where is she? Screw you. No, Rick is just an idiot. Do I have to pick up the club? Yeah. Hey, Mad Dog would like this. Don't make this harder than it needs to be, Rick. Shut up. Ooh. Okay. Brad, stop. She's with Sticky. Hidden in a cave waiting for Randos. You're killing me. Please. Bye, Rick. Well, <laughs> again, tonal whiplash. Can he literally not even hit us? I, mean, I guess I could just use fireball. Like, if the hits before aren't gonna do anything anyway. Oh. Oh, cock blast doesn't shoot a fireball. It shoots chicken. I get why it doesn't do fire damage now. Brad? Hello. How do you know my name? Hmm. We go way back. I'm surprised you don't remember me. See this person? Do you like him? Do you love him? Do you care? Have you changed at all, Brad? Prove it to me. Your arm. You don't deserve it. I want it. That's not too harsh, right? How about it? Your left arm? For his life. Hmm. How heroic. I don't think you really know how bad this is going to be. Step forward. Go ahead. Yeah, like, I'm, yeah, that scene is, um, like, I don't think the actual overarching idea of, like, the story of, of like, the world being post-apocalypse and the need for repopulation, I don't think that matters. Like, the story's overall goal is, like, Commenting on toxic masculinity and the cycle of familial abuse. And that has nothing to do with the fact that all the women in the world are gone. 
it's just a way to facilitate that kind of and to like facilitate conflict in the in that narrative thanks brad you're you're a really good friend yeah thanks terry i lost my fucking arm Like the story's overall goal, like I don't think this the story itself has an overall goal. It's just like this game has things to say about things, and that's the more important thing that it tries to hit, you know? I should unmute the game. There we go. Hey, we got a cool scene now. Uh. Oops. Oh. <laughs> Oh, there was a rock there. Oh. If you don't fall into a pit, you can just get back up, huh? Checkpoint. Oh, there was... There was a rock there. Uh... Rando says he's very sorry. He's sorry for destroying your motorcycle. As a peace offering, he gives you all of our food rations. Rando must be going now. Please excuse him. You can see tears beneath his mask. You're not getting away with her food. Random's too fucking nice. Trash like you doesn't deserve him. Your journey ends here. Cool. Love that. Uh, hey, let's... Good thing we have a bunch of firebombs, huh? We win. Bad dog doesn't talk too much, huh? Bad dog's a quiet kind of guy. I won fairly, yeah. <laughs> that was a fair fight. Hey, dude. Thou art God. Rando fucked off. He left. Huh? Huh? Move and you die. You and your man are coming with us. Russian roulette's the game. Folks came to see some fresh blood. After that, I'll let you go. Three rounds, that's all I ask. Choose a member's life to play with.
Ready, boys? Play. Oh, your opponent has died. You're not done yet. Come on, that sucked. Well, I leave. Fuck. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh, L Rage is so dead. Yep. No? <gasps> oh. Oh, we just lost Percy. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Who's that up there? Oh, hi. There's a Russian roulette party member? Why am I by the water? I just love the sea. Wait, no. I mean, I see the ocean? <laughs> Left behind his hat. That dog gets a businessy hat. If I go back and do it again, I get a party member? But like... I mean, I guess we could do it with L Rage, because I don't really care about him. I didn't care about Percy at all. Is this just literally random? Okay. What? Do I have to do it multiple times? Yeah, based on luck means it's random. I tried to catch some fog. I missed. Broken pencils are pointless. Pretty funny, huh? No. Well, I don't know if getting that party member is worth... Is it a good party member? Oh, I guess I could save scum it, yeah. Is there a save anywhere near here? There's a snake man there. I have some concerns. 
Hey, bro. Praise the yeah, praise the sun. Praise the sun. Hell yeah, dude. I vibe with that. Shit snake. <laughs> um Um Dude. Oh. Oh. Rick. Um. I need to relearn how to do <laughs> Brad's skills. Because he has no W anymore. Um, do we want to rest here? Oh, fuck. Terry! They took Terry. Where are the pretty boys? Are they? Oh. Fuck. There, you said that literally just as I was saving. Where are the pretty boys, though? Like... I really hope they don't just, like... I swear to God, if Terry dies... I'm gonna be very upset. Do I have to give them a lot of money? Oh, I have a shitload of money right now.
Huh. Um. Um. Get back, nerd. Where'd you go, Master Armstrong? Is class over? Uh, yeah. Sure, class is over. After you finish your homework tonight, practice your kata. Good night, kids. Hmm. Who is that? Oh, a snake! Deep poison! Oh no! Oh fuck! That does like, big damage. How did that not do a stun? Come on. Oh. Nope. Hi. You can't just walk out without paying. Pay? For you? Dream on, Fuzzlips. Ugh, don't even. Do you know how hard it is to find a decent razor these days? Besides, you're not worth it anyway. Like I even want a piece of you. Right, and why did you come here again? This ain't no lemonade stand. Uh-oh. Oh. 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 Hi. Oh, pardon me. Welcome. The name's Queen Roger. Please make yourself at home. Don't mind the mess. <laughs> well, he had it coming. Hmm. 
Um, Duffy? Oh, neat. Uh, Uh huh. Yeah. Ah. Well. This sure is a scene. What's up, bitch? I'm not here to fuck around, let's go. Oh. Uh... Um... This is a very strange scene. <laughs> oh, I should see if I can use my items. That'll be funny. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, hi. Oh, this is awkward. Please don't tell the other guys about me. Here, bro. Is that it? Oh, no. Oh, hey, Farty. Really? A fat bald man? No thanks. Farty? Hey, so listen up. I left my family, including my stupid brother. I'm gonna start my own gang. I just need a new name for it. What do you think? Who's gonna be Anthony, boys? Really? that take you all of two seconds? Whatever, that will work. <laughs> Susan B. Anthony, boys. Is that it? Okay. Nah. Why would I call Queen Roger a creepo there? Like, that doesn't make even sense. How do I get into the lower area? Hmm. Like, how do I get that? Can I save for a sec? Sure. Why did you recommend I save? Hmm. 
Ага. Ау. Пак. Jump in a tiny hole? <laughs> where? Tiny hole where? Oh, fuck off, snake! Tiny hole. Are you fucking kidding me? Do we have any soup? Whoa! Like here? Where the fuck am I? This is, yeah, this is new to me. Um, uh... fuck is that? Oh. Hey, Lisa. Oh. Hey buddy, wake up. My name's Harvey. Harvey Alabaster. I'm your fishman lawyer. And you, my friend, are in fishman court. So look alive and pay attention. The judge is about to speak. So? I don't understand. Ooh, yikes. Your funeral. He says he's guilty. Of a lot. Including making a pass at your wife. Hold on. Well? 
I did nothing. Ah, okay. Uh, you sure? Yes? Uh, alright. What do you boys back there think? Yeah, I agree. All right, buddy. My client says he wants to touch your wife, Your Honor. Yep. Right in the gills. Dude, he's pissed. Shouldn't have said that stuff. What's that? Oh? Yes, Your Honor. Well? I want to leave. Yeah, me too. This sucks. Let me ask. Yo, Judge. This puzzle says you suck, your court sucks, and the fish suck. And he wants to leave. To do your wife. Cool. Okay, let's go. Wow. Call me butter, baby, because I was on a roll. I'm the jam, you're the bread. Like a ball to a glove. Let me tell you, buddy. I had no clue what those fish folks said. I can't understand a lick of that gibberish. I just hang out here because you humans suck. But dude, when we work together, we are golden. What do you say? Join my law firm? Sure. Hi, Claire. What is the sea map? Short to Shardy. Who's Shardy? <coughs> uh. Okay, well, you're just a dude. So, um. The fuck was this? Why are there fish people? How do I leave? Oh, you know what? So, our first uh, goal for the day. Is to find our boy. Hello. Hello. I know, I saw you learn something cursed about frogs. Um. Oh, no, I don't want to fight this man and his cats. Oh, we're in rough shape, huh? Uh... Uh... Ah! Cock blast! Oh, I should probably turn the audio down a little bit. That's probably better. Um, okay. He literally has cat armor. And I'm not a super big fan of that. We don't have a healer in our party anymore. We need to get Terry back. Your son? No, the cats! I hate this game. I got a businessy looking hat. It increases your office product productivity. Okay. Uh. Who can I give that? Oh, you know what? Who you know who that probably goes for? RV. 
Give some more luck, but everything else goes down. Midlife crisis hat? Um, down here. Hello. Innkeeper. All right, these are tents that I can like go into, right? Yeah. Um. All right. Looking at a porno. Man, everybody in this little camp is, uh, super happy. Great. Cool. What a nice place to be. We are the banana splits. Uh, I don't want to buy any clothes, thanks. I'm fine with my, uh, poncho look. Cat girl! Hey, it's me! Hey! They dreamt about me. Beastborn can have a midlife crisis hat. Sure. Uh... Whoa. Mad Dog has a nipple patch. Oh, Mad Dog, you're a good boy. Even though you killed your son, I guess. That wasn't very... Why did Brad have literally no armor? I thought that was like an accessory. Because he wasn't wearing anything. Mm. Alright. That guy said there was like an innkeeper here, right? My favorite track in this game is... Uh... Uh, what's it called? Where is it? Let's have it in the playlist. Uh, six 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 kill chop deluxe. That's my favorite track in the game. I don't know if I want to fucks with that right now. Oh. Hi. All right. Why is that guy? All right. Sure, dude. All right. Sure. I will do no harm to you if you do no harm to me. Uh-huh. Your boys seem to be going on a rampage, sir. Fuck. Fine, I'll, I'll just kill them all. Whatever. 
That's the plan. Kill them all, Peter. Oh, you're not very tough, huh? Why y'all throwing hammers, though? Why is that a thing you need to be doing? I thought I had joy withdrawal. Did that go away when I slept? Wow. Hey, Brad. Good hitting. Don't tell me anything about the duck guy. I don't want to hear about the duck guy. If he has a silly backstory, I want to know on my own. Alright, uh... You know what? Yeah, fine. I'll just fight them all. Whatever. They're probably assholes anyway, right? Okay. Yeah, they are football players, so obviously they're probably assholes. Ow. Uh-huh. And uh-huh. Get wrecked, nerd. Throw your damn hammer. Your dammer. Are there more of them? God damn, dudes. How big of a team is this? Didn't even see that one coming. Fucking hell! Like, what if I actually didn't want to fight them? I'd just be shit out of luck. Oh, there's an item there. How do I... That's how. Excellent. Oh, sick. Fuck yeah. Oh. Oh shit. How do I get that item? I want it. Oh. 
There's a bar up here? Alright. Onion vodka? Oh. Ow. Uh, we're gonna need money for getting back Terry, so... Fuck yeah. <laughs> oh, that's so brutal. God, what were they thinking? Bro. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. He's really trying. That's rough. That's rough, friend. Uh oh. What? <laughs> Morris Tinkle. Um... Oh my god! You okay, bro? Fighting, huh? I'm fighting a guy in a bulldozer, huh? Wow, okay. Oh shit.
Horus is crying. Poor Horus. You still crying? Maybe? Yeah, he is. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Why'd they give him such a... Why'd they give him a backstory? Great. Oh. I can't open the menu right now. Why can't I open the menu right now? Diesel Firebomb? Oh. Oh, okay. Who can equip the hard hat? Oh, I'm not falling for that. Wait, isn't this where Terry got kidnapped in the first place? Where are we? Oh, okay. Where the fuck are the pretty boys? No, I don't want a bar. Great. What's that sound? That's not what I wanted. I wanted my bike. these motherfuckers where's Terry doesn't seem right this is like a fucking village I am looking for one man in particular I don't want all your extraneous bullshit I want the hints man Hmm. Oh, God. Yeah. Hey, Charles. Have a good lurk. <laughs> uh, can TNT get rid of these? Yep. He, no, he's not in area. He's literally not in area one. I looked it up. Blue rockets are in area one. 
Blue Rockets are not in area... Like, Pretty Boys are not in area one. Um, is that a Whackdonald's? Um... Hello there. No, I haven't gone to the Muscle Cave yet. That's not helpful. Um... Um... Okay, time to kill these men for some reason. Uh... have made a mistake but it's too late for us to flee holy shit Yeah, no shit, hello, difficulty spike. Jesus. Ow. Well, that's, uh, gonna be a loss. Oh. Well. Oh. I almost made the ages old mistake. Um, okay. Wait. How do I... Ah, there we go. 
Um. Let's go to the camp real quick. Oh. Where was that in? Okay. Duckman's weird. I've been... I, I've been over here. Alright. Um... Cookies. Let's go... Not that way. Um... Hi. So fucking creepy. Probably good that that was evaded. Uh... Okay, that's fine. Everything's fine. We're all... Everything... It's all good. It's all fine. Oh. We actually did that without problem. That's good. Cock Blast 3. Oh, that sucked. I hate that. Don't like that at all. Thanks. We got him. We got the boy. Um...
Uh, let's see. What does this do for me exactly? That's it? Oh, fuck. Oh, cool, withdrawals. Oh, this is gonna fuck up my arm. This seems really dangerous. And like I could actually have Brad die. Ah! Oh, this sucks. That is not worth it. That might be worth it if you could like, if you had like a... Can you do like turbo controller stuff on PC? If this were a console game, that is the sort of thing that you would absolutely use a turbo controller for. What does... I've been over here before. Okay, so we got Terry back. Getting Terry back. Pretty good. Uh huh. This guy seems. Cool. I don't mind his design. I don't really like the name Garth, though. Duffel bag. Wasn't somebody whining about a duffel bag earlier? Wasn't that near the bees? A weird place for a crow. Uh, nope. Hey, losers. What the fuck?
Bruh. What am I looking at? Yeah, I do think I'm really fucking cool, actually. That did bands? Brad, do you want those? Yeah. Wait. <laughs> He's so sad. He deserved it. He attacked me. Hello. Just call me your boy. I guess I'm your boy. Uh. <laughs> no, don't look, don't look things up if I get stuck. This game isn't that hard to figure out. Hi. Hello, who are you? Oh. Dude, hell yeah. Thanks. Love that. Love your positive attitude, guy. Oh. Iori. Fuck. He has the power of the Orochi. Ay, ay, ay. Uh, okay. How much health do you have? Oh, not a lot. Actually pretty wimpy. What? I would have thought... There'd be more in here. Considering... The hole up there. Uh Is that worth it? Boy, that better be worth it. Please don't make me do a fight. Wait, where does this go? Uh-huh. Cool.
Um. I did it. I defeated it. Defeated is the monster. As an Alfonso Christ. Hey, hold on. Bro, you're really eating it. Uh huh. A whip flurry is like unreasonably good. Why is Beastborn good? Or... Oh! Maybe it's strong to physical attacks. So... Beastborn actually won't be that good right now. Has he done damage to me this entire time? Nope, because Mad Dog can still do damage fine. How much fucking health do you have? Oh my god! Get wrecked, nerd. I guess. Ooh, fireball three. <laughs> oh. Increases attack. Uh, that's it. Do I have to? Do I have to use these like? Oh, I actually have to use them. It increases it by one. Is that really worth it? Hey. Okay. All right, dude. I love to wreck nerds. All right. Uh, is this where I came in? No. This is where I came in. Okay, let's go get this guy's duffel bag, I guess. I don't really know what his deal is. I should probably go... I should probably try to rest. Which means I guess we'll have to talk to Duck again. I can't remember where the bees were. This guy gives me the creeps and I don't trust him.
Okay, I'm actually gonna take a little quick break because apparently my sister was trying to contact me. Um, so y'all sit tight. You know, sometimes I'm not super fond of my family. Because they make stuff sound like super urgent. And then it turns out the only issue is that my sister can't play a DVD on her PS4 without internet. And I sincerely have to wonder if they don't think I have better things going on. And it's very frustrating. Hey, bro. What's your deal? Did we already find another dojo? Uh-huh. Oh, you have soup. Sure. I am. Okay, how long do I actually have to wait? Because I'll be honest. Not a patient person. Uh-huh. Will the game tell me when I've been patient enough? Or... Or is there like a trick to this? How much patience is enough patience? How long have I been up here? Like 20 minutes? In 20 minutes, right? I'm actually gonna lose my goddamn mind. I like how the clouds don't move. So the game could be paused right now. And the only way you'd be able to tell is that the music is like still going. Is this a trick? Oh. Hey, I'm just gonna like. We're just gonna look at Twitter for a bit. Cause, uh. Boy. Hey, let's see. Hey, Lisa. Patience Dojo. Oh. What? Never mind, I didn't even have to... What? Okay, well, I'm just... Confused by that. Can I not get to your soup? Bro, can I have your soup? 
I want your soup. Can I have it? Am I not allowed to have your soup? Oh, uh, let's just do this. Alright, um... Go through the dark cave. I'm sure that'll be fine. God, bro, why are you so goddamn creepy? Like, for what? For why? Oh. Oh, yeah, this is where the... Oh, there's snakes here, isn't there? Aren't there? Isn't there? Words? How do words and grammar good? God, is there just infinite snakes in this world? Come on, dude. I'm not particularly happy about that. I literally just want to give a dude a duffel bag. That's it. And I sold all my cigarettes. Fine, let, let's just let Mad Dog die. No big deal. Uh, where was the duffel bag guy? Was he in? Yes. RT. One wild son of a bitch. Still haven't figured out how to get down there. Like, what's gonna happen? We've already had a person get kidnapped, right? Fuck! Oh. That's not... You know what? I would rather not have to fight all the way through the snakes again. If I'm being totally honest. You know what? I'm curious to see what... You know, okay, wait, hold on. We, ha we do have to, like... Change... Let's get rid of Rooster. In favor of... RT. Beast, let's do Harvey. And where's where's our boy? Gotta get the boy back. I've been here. And have I... I have been... That's McDonald's. So... Have I been down here? Oh. Yeah?
Garbage Island. Let's go to Garbage Island. I didn't know this was a thing. This is gonna take fucking forever, isn't it? Or, it's literally right here. How do I... How do I appease Garbage Man? Does Brad need to stink? We've been here... Yes, we have. Okay. Um, so I guess let's go try McDonald's again. Let's murder these guys. Okay, so I have... Water gun. Whoa! Holy shit! Bruh! God damn, Terry! Like, bro! do it those guys were unusually tough Is that a deer up there fuck do we have we have jerky really all we have can I use fairy skills This game hates the people who play it, and I really appreciate that. Oh, fuck!
I killed that deer. That's fine. Oh, there's another one. Uh. Oh my god. Oh, this poor deer. I will never stop killing Bambi because the game is forcing me to do it. <laughs> oh! Fuck. Fuck. What's that sound? What is that? Why is that terrifying? Ah. The input for Fireball 3 is ass. fact beating an avocado to death yeah uh uh can this thing just die i would love it if this thing just died That made a funny sound. Uh... Wait, hold on. Oh my god, you have so much health. Thank you! Oh my god. Um. Uh. 
this seems prudent to do. Oh, hey. Don't hide. That just makes me feel worse. <laughs> like I fought a hiding deer. Oh, Dr. Killgood, you're in for a... Uh... Rough time if we do get to end game. This is not a happy video game. Did I? Yeah, I literally have the content warning up there for. I hate this. I don't like this. This is scary. Oh, right. Wally is, uh, tough, huh? Bleed, huh? Our team might die. I really hate that I can't switch party members out in battle. Like my one complaint. Oof. Bad might die. Okay, well, I hate that. Thank you. Oh. Fuck, Brad. That just gets worse, huh? Uh... 
Uh, hey, RT, do you want to eat that real quick? That sucks, bro. Fuck, mad dog! Oh, thank God. Hi. Uh, that's not right. Let's, uh, let's go rest up. Let's go rest up. Oh, it's a mask. That's kind of disappointing. Does that mean the fish people are masks? No, because there's literally... Harvey. Hmm. I don't get the lore of this game. Where was that? I probably should have saved before coming here. Because I could just fling myself off a fucking cliff and instantly die. Fuck. This game is so mean. Mean and scary. Fuck. Guess I'm doing fireballs for a bit. Okay, let's stain. Hey, let's get rid of our tea. Let's do. East is pretty low level. Let's do. Carp is the only character we've met, I think, that uses a knife. We got a knife at the start of the game. Would that knife be for Carp? Oh, Carp also has joy addiction. I don't want to use Carp then. I barely want to use Brad when he has Joy Addiction, and I like, kind of forced to do that. Joy Addiction basically makes all your physical attacks do jack shit. 
um, when you were dealing with withdrawals like Brad currently is. That's the little blue thing. So our our dear Brad can really only do fireballs. Which isn't bad. Fireballs are pretty strong, but I thought I don't Yeah. You can use joy, which is like a, a drug, but I don't really want to. We have we should probably avoid the Martys, huh? Boy, I hate this. I don't like this. This makes me feel deeply existentially uncomfortable. That slow me down? Fuck! Marty, go away! <laughs> Who gave this fishman a gun? What the fuck? Their movement is so jacked up. Great. Bad dog loves being poisoned. A lucky, a lucky feather. We put Mad Dog. We give that to Mad Dog. Yeah, we should give that to Mad Dog. Oh, look, fuck. I wasn't even thinking about that one. I can't even remember what the whole thing with this is. Oh cool, an old sock. Fuck! Marty, why are you so goddamn annoying? Well, that one's just like, oh, God, that's so good. God, that's so good. That's so strong. Hey, needle. Good of you to wake up. <laughs> hey, that mask looks familiar. That is, in fact, a fish named Harvey, yeah. Oh, what? Brad? Where have you been? I've been looking for you. Are you hurt? Where's Uncle Sticky? And Rick? I... I don't know. It doesn't matter. We have to go. But Sticky told me to stay here. We need to go now. You're not safe here. Hurry up. Wait. What's going on? It's dangerous for you to be out here. We've talked about this before. Let's go. No. I know what's going on. What? Rick and Sticky told me everything. I know how important I am to this world now. People actually need me, Brad. 
They all care about me. Something you never did. Buddy, no. I do care about you. I'm here to save you. So things can go back to normal. I know about those little blue pills. No, I don't do that anymore, I swear. I stopped. For you. Well, I have a new life now. Buddy, you don't understand what's going to happen to you. You are a girl, the only girl. You're just not ready. Yes, I am. Uncle Sticky showed me. What? Yeah, he helped me. What the hell are you talking about? What did he do to you? He just talked to me. What else? What did he do? Nothing. No more talking. We're leaving. She seems super happy about that. The achievement is literally called Happy Reunion. Where the fuck is Sticky? Because if he did anything more than talk to her, I'm going to beat his goddamn face in, actually. Rick maybe did not deserve that. If Sticky touched Buddy, Sticky will absolutely deserve it. Hey. Who? 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 Wait. Big rock is blocking the door. Oh. That would have brought me... Out to the main area, huh? Hey, Brad, where are we going? Like... Are we just gonna go back home? Nope. We are not. Hi, Buzz. Good morning, Sunshine. Can you feel the joy today? How about you, beautiful? Stay away from her. Why, Brad? You know her? You want her? Hmm. You know this man? Yes. Who is he to you? He... I don't know anymore. I see. Listen, sweetheart. This is a sick man. You stay away from him. Look at this. This sweet little pill. He loves it. Look at his eyes. He's disgusting. It's been a while, hasn't it? What's wrong? Did you run out? The demon's eating you up now? You piece of shit. It's okay. I'll share with you. Take it. No. What? How can you turn me down? Please. Not in front of her. Take it. Don't hurt her anymore. Don't worry. It's not her I'm after. Well, hmm. Have another. Don't you want to be happy again? Oh? You want more? That's the spirit. I'm sorry, buddy. Well, did we actually... Is this endgame actually? I can't even remember, it's been so long.
Oh. I do. Th yeah, I think there's one more area after this. Hey, Sticky. What's up, bud? Brad. She's getting older. How can you blame me? Besides, she wanted it. She's thirsty for knowledge. Someone needs to educate her. You're just not capable. It's all over for you. Hey, Sticky. It's time for you to fucking die. Brad's known Hadoken for a while. Yeah, the only part of the playthrough where joy is not optional. Don't blame me. I'm just trying to help. What? What? Hey, how'd he die? Hey, how'd you die? Ah. Shit gets worse from here. Like, no, the spike in his head is, um, part of his, uh, armor, I guess. It's a, it's, it's an aesthetic spike. You know, that thing that people have all the time. People love their aesthetic spikes. Post-apocalyptic aesthetic spike, yeah. That's a good band name. I should not... ...dump that. Right. All right. Well, damn it. Yeah, that uh, the documentary Mad Max is a is a really good example of uh, how people love putting spikes on things in the post-apocalypse. That was a documentary, right? That actually happened? That's just Australia? Well, in this case... Um... It's because this apocalypse... Resulted in, like, all women... In the world, like, disappearing. Um... So all that's left are like a bunch of children and middle-aged men. So it totally tracks that they would look like they're going to a KISS concert. Because they, you know, probably watched Mad Max. And other uh, post-apocalyptic 80s movies. All right, through the blockade. How do I? I guess I guess I don't need to get rid of that those rocks, huh? He's dead. He's dead. Got a football helmet. Hey, let's wear a helmet. I can't wear a helmet.
The fish can wear a football helmet, though. I would also probably wear functional body armor. Hey, it's you guys. I do love it so. Is he gonna say howdy, motherfucker, again? What's up, dumb fuck? You look lacking, old friend. Ha! No handshakes for you. Oh, that reminds me. I want to show you something. Do you know what this is? Where did you get that? Did you hurt her? So, you do know. How interesting. It seems we both bought tickets to the same dance. Question is, who's going to take home the prom queen? The race is on. Gents, I trust you can handle this. The deer's name is Spaghetti. I imagine Dangling was more than a little bit inspired by Fist of the North Star. Tom Cream, Sergey Rage, Larry Sports. Great names, guys. Good names. Yeah, they do, don't they? <laughs> Tom Cream. Oh, I wonder if he's related to Toby Cream. We met Toby Cream earlier. Leave Mad Dog alone. You know what? You know what could have just solved like a lot of the problem right away? Doing that. People don't burn as much as they used to. Okay. Y'all are dead. Everybody gets level ups. Later, fuckers. Oh, good. It's... Are you one of her friends? Poor girl. You're the only one that's shown up to the service. Coffin. Excuse me? Oh, yeah. Hey, bud. I fucking love it. Sounds good. 
Remember to lose. Wonder Wizard. Should I lose? Hey, chat. You guys decide. Should I lose? Okay, I'm gonna win the hell out of this then. Or... Not your show. My show now. Son of a bitch. It's like we have a winner. That dumb son of a bitch. Hey, bro. You just fucked me. You have no future in this business. Oh. Yeah, maybe your show, but it's not your stream. Eat shit, my guy. I think we, I think we did get something out of that if we did it properly, but. We could get some soup. We could steal. Soup. Deluxe sunscreen. Hawaiian poncho. Oh no, that's good too, I guess. Hey, I want to steal all your soup. Yeah, the wrestling shit's stupid. I could sell the record despite Y2K, you're right. That would make me feel good. Maybe I should be slightly concerned. Hello. Oh, if I did the wrestling thing, I would have gotten a party member. We got wrestling boy. That's a bummer. Yeah, I'll do an LP toss and literally just throw the record at the dude's head. Is there a save over here? Dag, yo. LP, I don't know. I, I could, I could get into a whole thing with the mechanics of Y2K. But then, I would just get really frustrated and tired. I'm already kind of getting there. Y2K is very frustrating. Just like as a game that exists. Why would I want to go up? Oh, to get back. I see. Huh.
How do I enter this? It's locked. Cool. That's a semi truck that I can't do anything with. Wait, is this area three? Oh, yeah, that would, yeah, that is the super secret hard boss. You're right. Which we are not going to do, by the way. We are not going to fight Satan. Oh, it's sticky. That's one slippery girl you got there, Brad. She's tough, that's for sure. All that isolation did her curious mind some good. It's over, Tony. Heh. <laughs> Haven't heard that name in a while. That's what my dad used to call me. That's why we clicked. You were the only one that understood what it was like. We used to be so alike. Poor, beaten, fucked up kids. Except I kept my chin up. You fell down. You don't have an excuse. Not with me. All this stuff with Buddy, it's bullshit. What happened to us? What happened to survival? The brotherhood? I don't care about that anymore. Buddy is my daughter. She's my second chance. Ha. Huh. Get real. She was a gift to the world, not to you. She's not your child, you fool. Face it. You're just not mad enough to do what needed to be done. But don't worry. The world is safe. I made sure of it. Rick was still alive? Brad! Please, don't hurt him! Please. I'm begging you. Of course. Get up. Leave. Don't ever show your faces again. Thank you. Let's go, Sticky. This isn't over. Yes, it is, Sticky. This Brad isn't gonna go on much longer. That bodes... ill. Hi, Buzz! Did you have a nice reunion? I thought you'd want to see your pals, so I let them live for you. That reminds me. Do you know this girl? I do, all too well. I never wanted her here, it's no place for a girl. But I guess she can be a useful tool. Maybe now I can show you what it feels like. What do you want? That's nice. You're learning. Shut the fuck up. Just tell me what you want. Bradley, I'm shocked. You really are changing. But you still haven't suffered enough. You used to be so joyful. These people are holding you back. You're better off alone. I want them all dead. Or... Her nipple. I'll cut it off. That's fair, right? She has two, after all. It's not a tough choice. That... is a decision to make. We can't kill Mad Dog. We just cannot- we cannot let Mad Dog die. He's the true hero of this story. What would Buddy want? I'm sure Buddy would want to keep her nipple. Ah, fuck it. I see. Sorry, sweetheart. It's not me doing this. It's him. Wow. 
Tough kid. Here, you keep it. As a reminder. Never forget this feeling. You got a nipple. Well then, we should be going. Bye! <sighs> Where did that... Why is that armor? That is the distress that it is doing to me. Hey, it's my arm. Well, that was quick. She got away. She's impressive, I'll give her that. It's always the sweetest fruit that come from the most rotten loins. She would have been a real asset with the woman. With the women. What are you talking about? It doesn't concern your kind. Brad, I've been working very hard with you. I'm glad you've been taking joy. I quit that shit. It doesn't matter at this point. I've made sure of that. And it's a good thing. I get to play with you longer. But no matter what I do, it still hurts. You haven't suffered enough for what you did to her. Your other arm. Give it to me. Or give me your possessions. Your magazines, your clothes, items, all of it. Can you survive without them? What's more important to you? We have a lot of firebombs. Yeah, I imagine don't do three. I've never do three for any buzzo choices. This. You're really breaking my heart. Step forward. I'll make sure you remember this. I can still ride a bike. Hey, Shardy. Shardy. Oh. Great, that sounds like a... You're making me do a goddamn fetch quest. Uh... Wait. What the fuck is this? This is a fucking museum? That's... Really fucked up. And I'm glad he immediately... Hey, Lisa. Um, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> hmm. Is this where Tardy is? Yeah.
All right. Uh. Is that a motorcycle symbol? Yep. So we can absolutely not use um the campfires here. Because if our party member gets kidnapped, they're dead. Like, with no recourse. And we'll have to do a, uh, a fight. Toby? Toby Cream? Are you thinking about Toby Cream? I think he's thinking of Toby Cream. I know, I'm always thinking about Toby Cream. There we go. Alright. Let's continue making poor decisions for Brad. Hey, a motorcycle. Uh. God damn it. My favorite no good son of a bitch. I take it the gents didn't make it. Tis all right. I suppose we had it coming. I've been a scoundrel since youth, but you knew that. Say, Brad, let's have some fun. One last go. For all time's sake, there's a boat just down the way here. How about you hop on that motorbike and we race to it? Last known sighting of our girl was on the waters. First one to the boat is the first one to her. I knew I liked you, Brad, but hey, no stakes. Let's just have some fun. Fuck. Oh, is there like literally any way for me to lose this? Yep, there is. Hey, uh... Let's do this real quick. Oh! That didn't reset it? What the fuck? There's no boat. Brad, there is no boat. I've picked on you your whole life. Truth is, I did it because I was envious of you. Sorry for lying, but thanks for doing this. I think it showed me what I needed to know. Well, old chum, time for me to go. And I'm sorry. But I need you to come with me. Oh, we sure did have fun, didn't we? Going to miss you. Oh. Sorry for giving you a hard time. Bye, Bradley. Here I come, gents. Um. Why did he kill spaghetti? What did spaghetti do? How the fuck do I get back? Like, there were a lot of really long jumps there. Oh, there's a warp pipe. I guess he had to kill the deer. What an asshole. I hate that guy. Fuck that guy. Hate that guy. 
Um, what's back there? Oh. <laughs> Can I do fireball still? I can. That doesn't seem right. What does... What, like... Okay, so if I just do Armstrong style, I can't do Fireball. But if I don't do Bite, I can still do Fireball. What? How does that make sense? Like, did, did Dingling not think that people would... Uh... Oh... I may have made a mistake coming here. This is going to be bad, isn't it? Oh. Why is Marty here? Boy, Brad has, a, like, very little health now, huh? I think we're just going to have to constantly deal with withdrawal. <laughs> Fucking hell. A lot of Marty's in here. What the fuck, bro? Hey. Gonna need you to like, fuck all the way off? Okay, this is a thing.
we are kind of dealing with constant poison. Which is very good and fun. Okay, bottle of water does not get rid of poison. What do the others see? Fuck. That's a pretty tough snake, if so. Um... Right. No. All right. Uh, soup. Soup for Brad. Yo. You don't belong here, outsider. Time to go. That's a lot of boys. Um. Solved. Woo. Yay for cheating. You love to see it. Fuck. Uh Oh fuck off Actually Uh-oh. Where'd that guy go? Did he leave once we got the duck man? That guy is so weirdly pleasant. <laughs> well, you do that quite a bit. I, it's weird how often people fall asleep watching my streams. And I don't know if that's because they're boring or because they're soothing. And I'm hoping the latter.
<laughs> you, you, you would argue it's because none of us get regular sleep? Yeah, that's also true. Uh Hey guy This music is real good. But there's nothing we can do here right now. Hi. Oh, that's the treasure guy. How deep is this hole? Oh. Wheezy Silver's Kung Fu Gauntlet. Yeah. Hey, gosh, you are worthy. This is everything. Welcome to Lisa Val. Now we're, gonna have some, we're probably gonna have some on the way back. That's just mean. How is Brad? Like climbing and descending these lat these ropes exactly. Grab my shawl. Grab my shirt. Grandpa's shirt. Why are those there? That's sad. With his teeth? Yeah, I assume. Maybe with his stubs. Um, this place looks fucked up. Hi. What's your deal? You seem to have a lot of health, my dude. Uh... Okay. 
Don't know what your whole deal was, but sure. Is that going to be a recurring thing here where people just phase out of the walls or what? Yep. Hey, dude. Hold on. What? I got jerky. That's nice to have. Oh. Oh boy. Wow, that was big damage. Hey, Mad Dog, you're pretty tough, bro. I don't want to, like, ever get on your bad side. I've met him? What are you fellas talking about? Yeah, a fish with a gun. Hi. Well, ah. Huh. Oh, he threw a fireball. Uh, tackle. Oh, that's really bad, actually. Uh, hey, let's do one of those. Fuck. I didn't think about that. Uh-oh. 
Okay, we're doing, we're doing damage. Everything's going fine. Okay. God, he has so much health. Cock Blast 4. My favorite uh, first person shooter franchise. Why is the tree bleeding? It's a blood tree. Duh. Those totally normal things that exist in day to day life? Yeah, exactly. Have we found a shop in the third area yet? It'd be nice if I could find a camp. Why is Brad stinky? It'd be nice if I could find a camp in the third area. That'd be super, super rad. Actually. But I guess the game's not going to be nice to me. It'll only give me unprotected campfires. Alright. Uh, what does our boy need? We got a big fan. We got wood. Uh... What else did we need? Some wood, a sail, a way to propel the boat, and tools to put it together. Okay, so wood, sail, something to propel the boat, which is the large fan, and tools to make it with. So we need a, a sail and tools to make the boat with. Hey, hold on. Yes, me again. Who the fuck else would it be? Hmm. Hmm. Oh. You only sell jerky, huh? You don't sell weapons and stuff anymore? Where the fuck are we gonna find tools? Fuck. Didn't I see you in the other cave, like, ten minutes ago? Pair of glasses. Huh. Spread stinky because he's covered in blood because he cut off both his arms.
That would make sense to me. Pardon? Hey, Frosty. What exactly are they hoping to accomplish here? Whatever it is, I don't think they are. shot me. Frosty's packing! What class is the fish? Lawyer. Um, oh, you're just like a man, huh? Could have assumed that. Get wrecked! I don't want any more snowmen to shoot me. That was very, that was very upsetting. Hey, dude! Today I learned... You cannot outrun a bullet! Whoa! He just straight murked Harvey! I don't think you can avoid it. Unless the thing with it is you just go. Yep. Are you telling me I can't outsmart a bullet? Are you sure? I could try. <laughs> Hi. Hmm. Who the fuck are you?
Stop that. Every character in this game looks like they're part of the village people. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Bro, I killed your boys. Did you not notice? Clearly tackle isn't doing anything. His name's Buff. Oh. That... Took me by surprise. Actually, you know what? Hold on. Before we go up, there was a little cave... Down at the bottom... That we didn't look at. Yeah, he looks so bummed. Oh. That wasn't worth it. Hey, losers. The old lost stampedes died today. Good. I mean, you could have died, died. Which I thought I did do. Considering I threw firebombs and dynamite at you, but... I love you. That... Legitimately scared me. Why do you lick me? Peter? I wonder if that's a reference to the spidered man. He kind of has a buggy stance going on.
Yep. <laughs> Fucking rip. Okay. Okay. Well, do I have to go that way? Let me see. I'm just going to look it up myself because, uh, that seems rough. I have to go that way. Hmm. That's fun. Uh, hey, Wiki. What's the ideal way to fight this boy? Let's see. Wiki, will you load, please? Thank you. The wiki tell me how they're like total max health. Mm, yep. Oh. Quite a bit. All right. Well, if I have to go that way, I have to go that way. So, uh, I probably should have saved, huh? Let's save the TNT. Dead. Oh, no, he just turned invisible for a sec. That's normal. Fuck. All right, let's just go 
Cool. Uh... <laughs> Let's give that another shot, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, it really is a shame I don't get experience from that. Wait. Where? Did he? I... Yeah. Hey, this guy's literally on fire. Why am I fighting him? What if I put him out? Oh. I killed him. Wait. I... What is up with this? A what? Babe, I, I did not need to be up here. Where did... I'm nervous now. Because I don't know where he went. Is he just gone? That would be ideal. But I somehow don't feel like that would be the case. Because this game is very mean. I, yeah, I guess he fell off. But... Joy creatures are kind of more resilient than that. So... I'm a bit perplexed. Hmm. Where was that campfire? Oh. Balls don't just affect the characters in your active party, huh? It affects everyone, huh? That's fun. Where was the hole? Is that? No. There was totally a campfire somewhere. In this area. Yep. 
Okay. Here's what we're, what we're gonna do real quick. Because... Rooster's dead. It's the second guy? The wiki lied to me! The wiki literally lied to me. Well... Wiki said it was the fourth guy. Which is... Clearly, literally not true. So, okay, hold on. We have, a, we have blood wood. We have a large fan. We have a toolbox. We just need a sail. Rooster's, like, officially, like, dead, dead, by the way. Like, there's nothing we can do. Yeah. We could go fight that thing. I don't know if we get anything good for doing that, but there's no point. F for Rooster. He is now paced. That sucks. I like Brewster. What was over here? Oh yeah, this. I don't understand. Oh, this, that's a rope. It is hard to tell that that is a rope. When the rest of everything else is like... Also brown? Hey, bro. Literally cannot talk to you, huh? This seems like a nice place. Hmm. I see. I get it. I get the thing. So, for you... Oh! What the fuck? Hi! What the... Absolute fuck. Hey, bro. Mm, I have, yeah. How's it going? You just called me a butthead? How dare you? I am deeply, deeply offended by you calling me a butthead.
There we go. Peace out forever, motherfucker. What a good line. I see. That's fun. I like that. Oh, can Mad Dog use the Hummer? Mad Dog gets a legendary weapon. I'll take soups. Excellent. Very fun. at a bit of a loss now. Oh. I should consider saving. Hey, boys. Hi. Can I leave? Boss? Shh. Took the sin. Okay. Listen up, Grandpa. See this face? It's a gosh damn apocalypse, baby. My face is still smoother than your bald head. I am perfection. You suck, you ugly suck boy. Oh, just him, huh? On pain mode, I fight him as a joy mutant? Fuck. That'd be tough. 
Oh. Can I not make him fall over? Oh! Water is a weak point. Get wrecked, nerd. You want to say flag? Fuck that. Uh huh. I think I still fight him as a joy mutant. What's the US flag for? Oh. Yep, I figured. I can just do we should go rest first I think actually we don't have to rest there we can go back to the camp which right Um... Oh, balls. Oh, that's not... actually what I wanted. What can I... do about that? Like, water does literally nothing against poison. Oh, hey, Sticky. I'm sorry, old friend. I can't let you destroy the world. The beside Sticky. Hmm. He has a big gun. Stop. 
actually... Could you maybe keep attacking the guys with TP? That would be ideal. Sorry, Sticky. We just killed Sticky. Oh, Brad's going alone. I think Brad's going alone. Well, oh my God. The tonal whiplash here is, uh, pretty stark, huh? Hey, why does that boat have a rock in it? This is good vibes. A good feeling about what's about to happen. <laughs> Oh, we have, we have withdrawals now. That's good. All right, Tardy, you can, uh, you can leave. A prudent choice. Why did that not actually pop up on the screen for me? I don't know who that just was. Also, still doing Darkest Dungeon sounds, which it shouldn't be doing. Dirty farty. All right, uh, he's dead. Hey, Brad, was that necessary? You really have to do a big murder there? I don't think you did. Oh. Child? What are those little blue things? It's called Joy. Oh, hello! Uh... Harsh Noise GF. That's a good... Username. Where'd you get that? Someone gave them to me. They don't taste good. But they make you feel good. Sweetheart, I don't think you should take those. Okay. Well, hopefully next week we're doing a game where you won't worry about spoilers. What? What are you looking at? Who's there? What are you... You. I can't believe you're still alive. Bradley. Okay. I don't think this is a real decision. I think Brad makes this decision for us. That being said, Marty is a fucking monster. Um, so here's where we kind of get into some backstory that this game doesn't really cover. Um, because it's mostly in Lisa the First. So... Lisa, the girl that we've kind of been seeing throughout the game in the white dress... Was... Brad's... Sister. Um... And along with Marty being abusive towards Brad... Marty was abusive towards Lisa. Um... In a... Considerably... 
worse way in that it was basically like daily rape um which eventually drove Lisa to suicide um he also forced Brad to rape Lisa um so I cannot personally permit Marty to live um Marty's a fucking monster and he is objectively one of the most deplorable characters in all of video games so that is why I am making this choice no Brad stop don't hurt him he saved my life move move Marty, you're one to fucking talk. But also, that does suck, Brad. Oh, that did a big hurt. Ow, bro. Okay, well, now this is a harder decision to make. Can I just... I'm going to have Brad heal. There's no way to get around that, huh? I've kind of uh locked myself in. What if I just do very small damages? No? Alright. Uh... This sucks. To be fair, Lisa, I mean, Buddy doesn't really have the context that he was not a good man, Bradley. I've changed. Lisa, baby, I'm sorry. I will also say I'm not 
if you want, you can save it on a different slot in case you fail. I will also say I'm not convinced I actually had a choice there. Because I think Brad would have acted on his own. I'm pretty confident about that. Buddy. Damn it. She took the boat. You're stuck here, Brad. He kills him no matter what? Okay. That tracks with how I think about this game. Um, because this game is 110% about the cycle of parental abuse. Um, and generally speaking, I don't think that sort of story should really allow the player direct agency when you're playing a character with deep unresolved trauma. I don't know, like, there was a conversation in the Discord a little while ago where someone said that Brad is the most hateable character in video games. And I don't drive with that. Um, Brad sucks, like, don't get me wrong. Brad is objectively a trash human. But I can't hate him. I can really only feel pity and sadness for Brad because he was never really given a choice to not be a shitty dude. I just don't like stories where everything gets always gets worse because I have the real world for that. Yeah, that's also fair. But I think, I do think this game tells, like, an important story. Um, and has you directly confront it, you know? Because, like, just hearing about it in the news, you're kind of passively engaging with it. But in the game, you're, like, you're participating in it, you know? To a degree. Or at the very least, you're participating in the in the conversation. Um, so this sort of thing is important. You like tackle in games. It's not comfortable in like any definition of the word. Um, but it's necessary. Fun fact, uh, shit gets worse for Brad. Doesn't get better. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, I... I get not wanting to, like, engage with stories like this, but... Um, oh, hold it. Huh. I'm not done yet. Oh, I'm gonna wait. Who are you? Who the fuck are you? So... I will point out... This also happens to be the point in the game... Where, uh... 
shit gets hard. Thank God. <laughs> buddy. Here, cover up. Brad gave Buddy his poncho. I don't want this. But you're hurt. Your face and your chest. Is it okay? It's fine. I'm not a princess. I don't want your help. Why can't you leave me alone? But what do you want from me? You've done nothing but hurt me. No, I want to help you. Rick, Sticky, that's not what they say. They don't know me, buddy. Nobody does. I do, Brad. I know what you really are. You're a monster. You've taken everything away from me. And Marty, what you did to him? Only a monster could do that. Buddy, you don't know him. I know he was a better father to me in a few days than you ever were. Uh-oh. So, there's something that the game doesn't really tell you about, uh, Joy. And I guess I'll save it for when we get there, but, uh, it's not good. It's not a good thing. It's not a good drug. Very bad drug. The side effects are, uh, a lot. That didn't even do damage to me for some reason. Oh, it's the rando army. Alright. I'm going to a mad... Fuck. I'm going to imagine that these things are all... Locked. Shit's locked. It's locked. Oh, there's an item there. I apparently can't take damage from falling anymore, so... Why? It gave me so many empty bottles. Why did it do that? I... I'm gonna say... I sincerely do not remember the last encounter of this game. But I feel like it's a lot, considering how many fucking diesel firebombs we're getting. Hey Val, you just tuned in for, uh, 
heavy shit. Guess we are as ready as we're going to be. End of the line, friend. It belongs to Rando now. Huh. We need to run. Now. Buddy! Guys, what a ragtag crew coming for an intervention. You came. I barely know you, and maybe this isn't my place to speak, but this is humanity's last hope, brother. We gotta do what we gotta do. Sorry, friend. It was nice working with you, pal, but justice needs to be served. Good night, dear friend. No. Yeah, he has no arms now. You can't have her. All of you people are filling her head with nonsense, blinding her. You don't understand. I have to save her. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, Boise. Good thing it's not Terry. Brad might die here, actually. Hey, real quick. Why do y'all have so much health now? But not when we were actually fighting together. Is it because video games? I guess it's because video games. Bad dog. Bruh. Every alabaster was crying. Yeah. Where'd all my skills go? No experience. Fuck off. You get none for killing your friends. Rando! Fuck. Sir, you don't have to speak. A f f face is nothing. The inside, it's... It's what matters. I... I... I know you are strong. Rando? He spoke. That's the first time I've ever heard him. His voice sounds so weak. I can't believe it. Wait, what about the bald guy? We haven't forgotten. Face it, you can't win. Just give up now and walk away with your life. You don't need to die today. No. Hmm? You don't understand. I've been dead for 35 years. Today is the day I live. Well, this is not going to go as well as we hope. Uh, I should probably heal.
Whoa! Sick move, Brad. There's so many of them. And it's like not even a fair fight for them. Like they are well and truly fucked. Yeah. Um. Game crashed. What a great take! What a great time for the game to crash. Fantastic, beautiful, wonderful timing that I love so very much. What a terrible night for a curse. Oh, I need to re- hold on. Uh... Nope, not that. All right. Let's try that again. But that's not quite right, is it? So... We're just going to skip through all that dialogue now. Oh, hey, it's you guys again. How's it going? Having a good day? Y'all are gonna help me fight this- fight, fight all these guys, right? We're totally gonna be super sick. And we're gonna beat them all and it's gonna be awesome and we'll save the day. Alright. Let's try this. Again. Great, they stunned me, like, immediately. Ow. Ow. I hate the allies that I left the left off with because they have stun. And that's the worst thing that like could exist for me.
Oh, I guess I could maybe try tripping them. And then throw firebombs at them. Like, the one to really look out for is Mad Dog. He's a buff piece of shit. Okay, that's not... ...too bad. Okay, good. By the way... Harvey is supposed to be weak to fire, so this is horse shit. Yeah, having Harvey in this scene is very weird. <laughs> Imagine if I was playing with literally all joke characters. Okay, we had Duckman in there. Uh, get a little bit of Percy. Well, don't shh. Don't question it. Doesn't matter. I like how people are randomly scared. Very villain thing for me to say, isn't it? You guys are fucked again. Wow, I just killed that one in one shot. Look at me go. The skull dude does look rad, yeah. Sick. Okay, I can heal now. Let's just do a horse jerky. I like how they ask how Brad is still alive. When it's clear that he just stole all of their diesel fuel that they just leave hanging out, I guess? Try. Oh. That's interesting. Wait, oh no.
is that has a very specific implication. Just leave, huh? They just start piecing. Dude has a lot of health. But buddy, stay back. Don't touch her. Master Armstrong, please. We don't need to Fight. She is the future. She's just a kid. And now, uh, am I supposed to win this one? It wouldn't make sense if Brad won this one. I am supposed to win? Okay. Wow, that did a damage or two. That does sh shit all for damage. Ow! Bruh. Yeah, he does have similar moves to Brad, doesn't he? His mask is breaking. I think.
We have four diesel bombs left. Hey, bud. No, he's not. Well, let's sit tight. Brad doesn't move very quick. Buddy, it's over. Why are you doing this to me? Why are you trying now? Why weren't you there when I needed you? You've taken everything away from me. I know. I finally had a chance at life and you take it away. Stop. Why are you trying to hurt me so much? You make me sick. I hate you. Stop. I know you hate me. I know. Why, Brad? Why did you do this to me? I had a chance to choose something for myself. No, buddy. You didn't. For good or for evil, it didn't matter. Those men wanted to use you. People are always going to try to use you and hurt you. Choose your life for your... Don't preach to me. Please. It's too late for that. You can't just be a father all of a sudden. I just... For once, I wanted to do something good. I'm the one that's supposed to protect you. I can't let anyone hurt you. Brad, you've hurt me the most. Buddy, can you do something for me? Please. What? Hold me. Ooh. Why? I want to know what it's like. I'm begging you. Um... Don't... Hugging him is out of character for Buddy. Knowing her from Lisa the Joyful. It's like... She clearly doesn't forgive him. Oh no. I can't. I'm sorry. But I loved you. Hey, that's the end of the game. Ah. Um, so, well, technically, the end of the game, um, Lisa the Painful does have a expansion. Wait, hold on. Hold on.
Right, we're not quite done yet. I almost forgot that. I almost forgot that. Not quite done. Brad's life isn't fucked up enough. Lisa. Well, it's a failure. The joy has no use to our investors. They say it can't be used as a weapon. Once it's gone into effect, the user begins to lose control. They no longer can make choices for themselves. Only the user's innermost desires come out. The only plus is that it doesn't take a lot of joy in order to start the transformation. But still, they say it has no military benefits. I guess that means enough. I've known this from the start, you fool. What? They've served their purpose. We got their money, and now they're gone. And now it's time for me to build my world. Gato, you're acting insane. This whole thing has fallen apart. You've lost it all. It's time to let this go. Shut up. If you feel that way, then why don't you leave? Exactly. We both have our reasons for staying. Besides, I have a plan. And what's that? Nancy. I'll use her. Jesus Christ, Yato. That's your daughter. Furthermore, you can't possibly expect that to work. It won't be that it won't be that simple. You're fucking insane. Bernard, Bernard, Bernard. Once you taste the power like this, you will understand me. Yato. The last fucking time. My name is not Bernard. It's Buzzo. So, that uh, is the end of Lisa. Technically. That's the end of Lisa the Painful. There is, um, an additional DLC campaign sort of thing, uh, where you play as Buddy. It's, it's alright. Um, I'm probably not going to do that one, because that one is... Less good. I'm not gonna say it's bad, but it's less good than this. Um. Yeah. So. Hey, this game is dark, uh, and kind of sucks, and is very mean. There's not a whole lot of happy in this game. Um. So, next week, we'll play something happier. Um, I'm considering, since it's not doing good on the poll on Twitter, we might just stream Okami next week as our main stream game. Like, well, I think Wander Song's definitely winning that poll, so that's going to be the next LP game. Um... So, yeah. It's a compromise. I wanted to play Okami, but I was like, I should probably, you know, let people make a choice. Um, yeah. So, we'll do Okami as the main game next week. And then, I think Sean and I are planning more Risk of Rain 2 next Thursday. Don't know what I'm going to do for the Tuesday game. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I'll, th I'll have to think about that. Maybe we'll do... 
<laughs> Raven pops up every now and then. Uh, maybe we'll do Celeste. Maybe we'll finish that. Okay. I'm I'm very sleepy, so I'm kind of rambling. So I'm just going to end this. Um, hey, thanks for joining me on this stream. I love you all. I hope you all have a wonderful morning, afternoon, or night. And as always, good sleep.